Hey there, Louis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can increase the export limits in ServiceNow. Now, I'll start off by talking a little bit about how export limits generally work in ServiceNow, and then I'll go ahead and show you how you can actually increase those limits. I've also included timestamps in the description below so that you can quickly jump to the part of the video that is important to you. Now, before we get started, if you find this video helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. Now, let's go ahead and let's get started. Now, it's important to note that export limits in ServiceNow can actually vary depending on the format that you're trying to export to. For example, CSV, Excel, XML, JSON can all have different export limits set in ServiceNow. Now, typically the export limit for rows is set to 10,000, and that is dependent upon how ServiceNow is implemented for your organization. Now, it's also important to note that changing the export limits is typically not recommended as these limits have been set to minimize the chance that there are going to be performance issues stemming from exporting large data sets. Now, if you're planning to increase the export limits, it would be wise to test it out first in your sandbox environment to ensure that it doesn't create any performance issues in your ServiceNow instance. All right, now you can see here that I am displaying a list of all requested items that exist in this ServiceNow instance. You can see at the bottom of this list that the total record count is about 15,812 records. Now I will start by trying to export this list. And as a refresher to export, you wanna right click on any column header, and then you want to place your cursor on the export menu option, and you wanna select your export format. Now I'll go ahead and select Excel. Now you can see here that ServiceNow is displaying this please confirm prompt. Now this is essentially stating that you are trying to export a large data set and ServiceNow is giving you the option to either wait for the export and to access the results in real time, or to have the export run in the background and to receive the results via email. Now I'll go ahead and click wait for it. And you can see here the export in progress prompt is being displayed. Now what's really interesting is you can see that it is displaying the count of records that have been exported, but it is only exporting up to 10,000 rows from this list. And again, in most cases, the default export row limit is set to 10,000. Now, I'm going to go ahead and cancel this, and I'll now demonstrate how you can increase the limits. Now, what you want to do is place your cursor in the filter navigator, and you want to type export, and then you want to click on import export in the system properties group. This is going to bring you into the menu where you can change the default export limits. Now, you'll recall earlier in the tutorial, I mentioned that export limits vary based on the format. So you'll notice here that each format that we saw in the export menu has its own set of limit fields. So for example, CSV format, and you can see here export row limit is set to 10,000. You can see Excel format dot XLS has its own row limit. And again, that's set to 10,000. So again, you can actually change the export limits based on the specific format that you're trying to export to. Now, what I will do is I will go ahead and change this dot XLSX value to 20,000. And once you've updated all of your limits, you want to press save. And you can see here that the export row limit for Excel has been updated to 20,000. All right, now you can see here that I've navigated back to the full list of requested items. Now I will try to export this list again. And I'm going to select the .xlsx format as that is the one that we updated the export limit value for. Now you'll notice again, you're still seeing this please confirm dialog box. I will click wait for it. And you can see now in the export in progress prompt that it is displaying the count of records that have been exported thus far of the actual total number of records in this case, which is 15,812. Now, once this export is complete, I'll just open the Excel file and demonstrate that it was able to export 
the full list of records over the 10,000 limit that was set by default. Now you can see here that the export completed and just a note, it did take about a minute for this export to complete. And again, that is typically why these limits are set to 10,000 is to prevent performance issues. Now I will click download to actually download the export file. And I will go ahead and open this file. And you can see here that if I select the first column that the count of records is 15,813. Now that's plus one for the header row. So that is how you can increase the default export limits in ServiceNow. And just as a refresher, to change the default export limits, you want to click in the filter navigator. You want to type in the word export and you want to click on the import export option in the system properties group. Now, very important note that I did not mention in this tutorial, in order to change these values, you do have to have system administrator permissions over your ServiceNow instance. This is not something that everyday users can change themselves. And so if you don't have those permissions, then you will need to request that your ServiceNow admin make this change. So that's it. In this video, I demonstrated how you can increase the export limits in ServiceNow. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Akabalas. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.